Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today I've got some wacky storage solutions for you. If you guys are watching on the live stream, then you know that I have been on a quest to find something like this. And this is one of the better compromises I can come up with, given all the circumstances, one of them being shipping time. But these are actually really affordable for what they are. And if you go to like the local craft store, you can find these, but check that out. Transparent case and then inside, you see all those little cases? Could be onto something here, lift that up. These are meant for four by six photos. And the only thing I don't like about these is this little notch on the side here. But I can kind of get over that because look at how awesome this is that it just fits right inside there. And then there's a little carry handle so I can carry this thing around. And this comes as a two pack. So this is either gonna solve a problem or create a whole nother problem where I need to get more stuff to store now that I have more places to store things. So why does all of this matter? Why, why am I on this quest to find these things? Let me get out two of these while we're in here. Oh, they, uh, they don't just sit in place because they're stored in place next to each other. They sit in place because there's little ribs in the bottom that hold them in place. That's pretty cool. So I've got two of these out now. What's all the fuss? Let's get some, some desk space here. First off, it, it just appeals to me that these things are all the same size and they're all organizable and they come in that big organizer tray. However, the thing that sparked all this off, and we talked about it on the live stream and y'all helped me find these things, is I got these cases here from the M17 project from Lilygo when we ordered the M17 module 17 boards that I did some videos on. And these cases were just too nice to throw away. And even though they don't match these cases perfectly, they're still kind of... Still kind of too nice to throw away, I don't know. So what I did was I went on a trip and I took the DigiPi, this is KM6LYW's DigiPi setup on a Pi 4 instead of a Pi 0, so it's a little bit bigger than usual. This is Thump's, what did he call this thing, the juice box? And what it is is one power pole in, buck converter, two power poles out. So I can power the Pi and I can power my radio and I can do a whole bunch of radio stuff all from a regular Denco battery like this one here or from a cigarette lighter to Anderson adapter or from any of my other millions of Anderson power pole powered or powering devices. So that went in the case. And then this is, I marked it, I used my Treedix device to determine that this was power only and not power and data. And then I put some zip ties on it so that it stood out that it was odd and I would know it. So that plugs in there, and then that plugs into the Pi 4, and then that plugs into the battery, and now I have a working DigiPi setup. And there's a lot of different ways to skin this cat. This is just what I had available at the time that I was going on the trip. And then this is the lid. In case I wasn't using the screen, this is the, the lid for the, the Pi 4 case, but you can just as easily take the whole thing with you on the trip without the lid for the case. I just didn't have anywhere else to put it. And once you put the screen on, the lid doesn't fit on anymore, obviously. So that's that. And then the GPS module for the whole works in order to do GPS type stuff with this thing. And it all fits really nicely inside of this little plastic case. And that's how I took it with me on the trip. And it was awesome. And it, you know, it still is awesome. So there was one kit. So these are like little micro go boxes. And this one here is for soldering. So I have my pine sill soldering iron, USB powered or 5525 powered. So I can run it off of my, you know, workbench power supply. More information than you guys care about. And this has enough stuff in here to get the soldering done. And actually I used up all of the solder that I carry with it. But I've got my, my three to one, three X magnifying glasses and a pair of flush cutters and some, brass wool to clean the soldering iron tip and some solder desolder braid, some solder wick, and then the soldering iron. And I can power the whole thing off of my car cigarette lighter plug off of my cell phone charger that's already in there. So those are two little micro go boxes, micro go kits that I thought were really awesome. I wanted more of these boxes and I can't find these exact boxes anywhere useful. These are four by six and they are one inch tall, I think, inch and a half tall. And so that is four by six photo, which is where these guys here come in. These are four by six photo sizes, but they aren't the same height. They're less than an inch and a half tall, but do they do the thing? So 
There's one micro kit. All right, that fits perfectly. Two micro kits transferred over. And another thing that you could do with this, this is actually a better solution, don't get me wrong, but you know, if you didn't already have this, you can do the Nano VNA. And this is the H4, this is the bigger model, so obviously the smaller model will fit as well. And then all of the Nano VNA accessories, like your open short load and your union and your coax wire and stylus and a bunch of other stuff. You can do all of that. I still like this one better, but again, it's just an idea. And if the Nano VNA fits, then I am sure that the Tiny SA will also fit. This is the Tiny SA Ultra, which is slightly thicker than a Nano VNA. Let's double check that it'll fit in there and close. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yep, closes up just fine. What other kind of trouble can I get into? I did a video a while back on uh, USB SDR dongles and chasing airplanes overhead. And that would actually be a really good setup for this. This is the Zumspot USB, which is a way to get you onto DMR, D-Star, Fusion, etc., without having a radio. And I haven't done a video on this specifically yet. So that would go in there with its antenna. The Nesder Smart that we played with on Ham Nuggets the other day, just to verify that it worked. I got that out of a free pile. This is an RTL SDR with some filters and amplifiers and so on in to run for A cars on 978 megahertz. So that would fit in there. And then this one here is for ADS-B on 1090. And then this is your good old fashioned RTL SDR. This was so I could plug it into my cell phone. So I can charge my cell phone off of this and then I can plug the SDR into this port here and I'm not totally killing my battery in my cell phone. And then this is a pretty decent 1090 antenna that almost fits, almost. Oh, come on. Just, all right, let's do this. Let's, let's make this happen. Will it get in there and close? It's still a little high. Okay, so everything fits except for the antenna. Hmm, <laughs> great. I can bend it a little. That's gonna look, that's gonna look ugly down the road. But I can still keep all of my SDR dongles in here. Yep, and it still closes too. Awesome. And then this was a bag that was my previous solution, and I don't like it as much. I can even put the Zumspot in the Zumspot box and put that whole thing in here. Can you tell I get excited about organization? And then don't tell me that you haven't played with Meshtastic yet, because I know you have. And now you've got a bunch of Meshtastic type accessories. This antenna is already floppy and it already fits and that's okay. And that's 915 megahertz. That would be pretty close to this one here, which is 1090. Pretty close, not, not exactly close, but pretty close. And then this is a spare Heltec board for Meshtastic that fits in there and it fits in there in the case. And then this is an unlabeled antenna that looks surprisingly a lot like the 1090 antenna, just an ever so slightly shorter. So this is probably another 915 and that one actually does fit in there. And then I bet I'm gonna have a problem with that keychain. Not, not bad. So now there's Meshtastic stuff stored away. And then I showed you in a previous video, I have an unhealthy affection for plastic bags, but this will get me a way to sort my USB cable. So USB A to C, and now I can make this all USB A to C. This is A to micro, that's gotta go in a different case. That is A to C. This is unwrapped. AC. Yes, I have a problem. I have a hoarding problem. But when you organize them all up nice and neat like this, you can actually claim it as a museum and as a tax deduction. Follow this channel for more tax evasion tips. All right. That was, that was a joke, by the way. So there's my A to micro. Oh, there's another A to C. My A to C case is getting full. This might be the cable that breaks the camel's back. Oh, no, it still fits. Awesome. Okay, so these are all adapters that I have. <laughs> And then that is one of those little mini hubs, which can also kind of be argued as being an adapter. So we'll put that in the adapter bit for now. And that's another tip. When you are organizing stuff and putting stuff away, put it where you will look for it, not where you think it should go. Because sometimes they're two different places. So like this might go in a case full of hubs, but I'm gonna look for the adapter and the hubs all together. And I think I only have one additional hub anyway. So there's a micro to micro with an on off switch that goes in here. And that's good for 
Raspberry Pis. And this came with a battery pack. It's a C to C and it's all, it's all special like. So it's kind of like a combination lanyard and C cable. And I have actually never used it. It positively locks in place. So you're not gonna have to worry about that. It hooks onto whatever it is that it hooks onto and came with this battery pack. And this battery pack is pretty cool. It is a multi-pack. It'll charge up QRP radios, cell phones, Raspberry Pis, etc. And will that fit? No, <laughs> I mean, yes, it will, but you take that and you take like a Pi Zero hotspot and the appropriate power cord to go from, I know this isn't it, but it's an example, to go from here to here. And then when you take the antenna off, world's largest SMA adapter, hope the Pi's a little thick. And I bet that, nope, okay, the SMA adapter was not as thick as I thought it was. But there is an on-the-go Raspberry Pi micro hotspot kit. And take your favorite DMR radio with you. This is the D168 from Radioddity that I've been playing with here lately. This is actually working out really well. And you've got a, you know, DMR hotspot on the go. So that's an example. And then if you guys are following along on Ham Nuggets, this is the Nino TNC that we are playing with. And we're going to be building this in an upcoming stream if we haven't already done it by the time you see this. And that would fit really nicely into this case also. And it would actually fit in fully populated too. Um, so like, as you're working on it, you can put all your parts in here and then you've got your soldering iron to go along with it and you're good to go. The only other thing that I could see that you would wanna put in here might be like a SA818, SA868 based radio, blah, 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 to go with that as well. but. Like the possibilities are endless. And since that's not built yet, and we haven't gone through the massive bag of parts yet on stream, that's gonna have to wait to get its own case. But now we've got some examples for you of some micro go boxes. And what you can do is you can also put labels on here as to what these are. So when you're looking at them in the case, it's fairly obvious what you're getting. Let's see, yep. And so if you put them in face down like that, you have even more label space. And now I've got a suitcase full of awesome ham radio stuff. And I know you're gonna bring up our friends over at Plano. That's totally cool, I, I get it. So this here is just a regular Plano case. This one here is obviously coax adapters. These are great. My buddy Tommy brought this one over to me and said, he brought it over empty. Can you use this? And I'm like, hell yeah, I can use this. Are you kidding me? I am the organization master. So this is all the power pole related stuff and also some, uh, I can't remember what these are called, stuff. I know you guys are gonna tell me in the comment down below. You got my back, I appreciate that. These things here are really cool. If you haven't seen these before, they plug in there on both sides so that when I take this and plug it in, Now I can't accidentally unplug it. So those are pretty cool to have if you don't have those. And then the booties, I had to put the booties in extremely organized because otherwise they wouldn't fit in the case with the lid shut. So that is one of the drawbacks is that there aren't little dividers in here if I wanted to make up a power pole kit, but I could very easily make some dividers out of cardboard or 3D print or something. And you could 3D print these, but I have found that 3D printed translucent material, in my opinion, is kind of ugly, but that's okay. And then did we even mention the QDX, I bet that fits in here too. Oh yes, that fits in completely. I got room for a battery pack, a little wind-up antenna, Raspberry Pi, that's awesome. Micro go boxes are the new thing, I dig it. So that was crazy, I'm kind of, I'm kind of more excited than I can share on camera, so I'm really trying to keep it down a little bit. But links for these things will be down in the description down below including a bunch of the stuff that I showed inside of the things that I showed you to put things inside of, and some videos that I did on the things that I put inside of the things that you put things inside of. That's a mouthful. But you're tracking. I know you're tracking. So these things are cheaper at Amazon than they are in person. They're like half the price at Amazon than they are in person. And if you've got Prime, then it's also quote unquote free shipping. It's, it's not free shipping. That's not how Prime works. We can talk about that in the comments down below also. All right, I got some more organization to do. There is a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.